All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Psychonauts 2. I'm excited because today I'm going to be doing a major stream event. Last time I only had a two-hour segment, and we enjoyed it a lot, but today I get to focus in on a major progress, which is excellent. Now, to recap, for those of you who maybe were not around last time, um, I'm at level 19. At level 20, I'm actually going to unlock the ability to unlock the highest level of some of my abilities, so I'm very close to being able to do that. Like a radial shockwave when you do a ground pound, or... Objects are plucked faster overall. See that? On impact, bursts into smaller side blast projectiles that do less damage, so it's a chaining side blast. Pyrokinesis burns a much larger area. Increase the devastation of wrecking ball attacks. This one I can't do. It's 102. Your powers are no longer restricted by cooldowns. Wow. Unlimited clairvoyance. No cooldown. Rank 30. Connect to dark thoughts to reach previously untraversable areas. Aha! So once we hit level 30, we can buy that, and that's how we can do those things we haven't been able to do before. I see. That's cool. But, to recap what we're doing, alright, we need to repair Ford's Ford Crawler's Shattered Mind. He has three different versions of himself. A barber, a bowling employee, and a mail clerk. Okay? Um, how do I do those? I'm not sure. It seems like we need to get a spare brain. He says, anyone who's going to have a spare brain around will be Otto Mentalis. He did say I should stop by his lab in the quarry. So that's where it's one place to go. Otto Mentalis' lab in the quarry. Get a senior league membership card to enter the bowling alley. Compton is the only agent around that has a card to access the bowling league. He's supposed to be in the psycho isolation chamber outside the mother low. <clears throat> we don't know what to do about the barber yet. Maybe if we go to the barber, we'll get a hint. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, scavenger hunt. We've only found two of the items so far. I don't know where the other ones would be. So, we got some work to do. I guess first thing we can do is actually go to the to the barber shop and see if we can get a hint on what we need to do. <clears throat> well, the door's open, so that's a good sign. We haven't tried this yet. <clears throat> Let's grab this card. Got some new gadgets available in my shop for testing. I, I mean for purchase. They're totally safe. Not available to interns, obviously. Well, this is good. We've got a chest we can open. We have the keys. That was 200. Wow, that was a ton of the currency. Excuse me, Ford. Here we go. Right, with a client right now. Obviously. Looks like we got a new member. Hold on. Shout out to Pooh Twister. What a name. Who became a channel member. Thank you for the channel membership. We are now up to 227 and climbing. We're getting ever closer to the monthly goal. 223 to go. Thank you for the support. Okay, so. Let's see here. <laughs> Alright, oh, uh, let's see here. Think you'll be done with the haircut. I see a big missing chunk on the side. We might, here we go. Would you mind if I went inside of your head? Would you mind if I jumped into your mind for a second? Just to even out some split ends. If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. Aha! Uh -huh. They're gonna let us do this. Okay, so we got into one of the stages at least. Obviously there's three stages to put his brain back together. And this is the first one. Okay. Whoa. What the heck is this? Grulovia invaded. Tsar Theodore's desperate plea for help. Hmm. No, I don't need the help. 43 figments to collect in here. Okay. The Barber's Mind. Someone's looking a little shaggy. Well, not to worry. A fresh cut and you'll feel like a whole new person. Just make sure you cut away the right parts or your old friends will recognize you. I'm here to recover a piece of Ford's mind. Something tells me it's up in that lighthouse. Hmm. 
You know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of disappointed that people aren't really giving this game a chance. And what I mean by that is I've noticed particularly not only just online, but in my community, like people who are playing this game really seem to like it. But not a lot of people are really giving the game much of a chance at all. Um, I think what it is is a lot of people just feel the game is it's too, too little too late because the game took 16 years to come out and no one really remembers Psychonauts 1. So because of that, I don't think anyone's really caring that much about it. And that's sad because I think the game is outstanding, like I've told you guys. I actually feel... This is actually one of my favorite games of the year right now. I'm enjoying it so much. It's old school platforming feel. So pretty, so wise. I just got a piece of bacon. Oh, that was a nugget of wisdom. Ford's nuggets of wisdom are pieces of bacon. Oh. Yep. I didn't realize that the, the nuggets of wisdom look different per person, but they do. Okay. Yeah, but no, basically, like, this game, I really like it. It's got almost a Tim Burton-esque look, and it's got cool writing and humor. Yes, I'll admit, the gameplay is kind of outdated. The gameplay feels like I'm playing a platformer from 2005, but that's what the original game was, and I'm really, really liking it, but it's like people have written the game off. Like, right now, we don't have a lot of people on stream. People are like, ah, Psychonauts 2, ah, I don't care about that. I'm not going to watch Phil play it. I'll, I'll watch something else, you know, and that's disheartening. Because the game is great. I feel like they put a lot of time and effort into the game. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. And uh, it's sad to see a game like this kind of be glossed over or skipped over by a group of people. Just because it's an older style game. Or, you know what I mean? It doesn't play like a more modernized game. Let's see what we got here. How do I... I can't get over that, huh? What the hell is a bunch of hair? I guess I just gotta run across quickly. Yeah. Bounce? What is this? I don't know what this is. I guess it's nothing. It's weird. And we got a figment here. Oh, I see. Is there optional shit over there? Or is that where I'm supposed to go? I'm just going to try to keep climbing and see what's on top of this first. There we go. Oh, what was that? I thought oh, I thought I could swing from it, but I did not swing from it in any way. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, crap. Oh, what do I do here? Here we go. I didn't I didn't see. Oh, he fell. You see what I mean? It really feels like an old game. Even the gameplay elements of the platforming feel feel kind of outdated. What the hell? Look at this. Why are there so many rats? Yeah, what can I do to no get rid of these rats? Every head has its undesirables. Yeah, but this is really lousy. Oh, hey. I finally get that word. High tight. Military Hiller styles and new the czar's Mysterious new weapon, Friendly Floods. Okay. What do I do here? Am I supposed to do something here? I can't jump with these things on. Oh. Is there a way to get rid of the bugs? Maybe Pyro? Maybe I can burn them? I wish I could just blow them away. Blow them away. That didn't work. They're fireproof. <laughs> Figure that out. They're fireproof. Uh, hmm. Blow them away. By the way, there's a spot down there I didn't get either. You see that? There's shit down there. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go down there. How do I get rid of them? Blow them away. Not this. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. What the hell? What happened? What's going on? Oops. So you look like a can of barbicide to them. See that?
you look at can of barbicide, but I don't really see anything else to do with the clairvoyance here. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, a hair dryer. I'll bet it would blow out these mites. You see a hair dryer? Where does he see a hair dryer? Huh? Where the hell is there a hair dryer? What's he talking about? Oh, way over there. Oh. Yeah, get lost, lights. Do you think you get rid of those things, but they always seem to come back? So now he blew the lice over there. Well, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be like a gameplay mechanic where you have to move the lice all over the place, I guess, right? Okay, well, we got a lot to do. Here, let's go down here first. Can I do anything here? Or is it just a bunch of hair? I guess it's just a bunch of hair. Climb back up. The outdated platforming is very frustrating. What the? He didn't swing for no reason. I definitely did the same thing I've done before. Okay. So, I got those. Looks like I can either go that way across the razor, and that may be where we need to continue on. Or I could go and do this and have that blow me across. See that? Try doing this. Oh, great. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said the old school platform mechanics can leave something to be desired. Malik razors, the sharpest blade is the one you'll never feel. Okay. You can't burn it. Fireproof. Okay. I don't know anything about Carthage. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm not playing Witcher 3 anytime soon. What random questions I'm getting right now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. Oh, jeez. Looks like I got everything. Like, I don't really see anything that I missed. I think I grabbed everything in the area that was available, so we're probably good. From what I can see, anyway. Alright. Have I ever heard of Kato the Roman dude? No, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I really don't. Shout out to Oro Turtle, who just did a $22 tip. Thank you so much, Oro Turtle. It says, I'm enjoying the playthrough. It's one of the few games with personality and creativity that most games have been lacking recently. Yeah, it feels to me like the writing is great, and they're going for this quirky atmosphere. If you play the original game, I think you'll get a little more because it, it does feel like a throwback to something trying to be really original and different, rather than going by this, you know... Like, for example, Ratchet & Clank. Oh, it's adventurous, and there's a villain, and there's all this. This is so different. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's quirky stuff. <laughs> And I like that, that they try to be different. Hey, now, this is their home. You're just a visitor. It looks like the Barbicide killed them. You see that? Well, that worked. <laughs> oh, my. Well, um, accidents happen. Uh, yeah, that was no accident. That was problem solving. The... 
I wonder if you need to kill all of the different lice, because I didn't figure out a way to kill these right here. I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to kill those. Huh. Yeah, but anyway, there's a lot. This is really cool because this is like an indie game, but it's really not. You know what I mean? Like, it's an indie game that actually had a budget and significant amount of dev time. So it's actually quite good, in my opinion. But, uh, again, sadly, I hate to say it, most people are not giving this game the time of day. Like, you, you, you look on, like, social media, and actually people who like games are, like, tweeting about it, saying, Hey, uh, guys, you should really be playing Psychonauts 2. It's really good. And everyone's like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, damn. You really don't want to give it a shot, huh? Even though so many people are saying it's good. Like, no. No, it's outdated. It's an old game. I don't want it. It sucks. It sucks that people won't give games a shot. Got that. And I fell right off. Very nice. What happened? Oh, I added wrong. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I added wrong. It's 30 bucks. Sorry. Okay. My bad. Uh, Alright, so I got that. I'm pretty sure we did everything here, right? Nothing else hidden over here around the corner or anything? No, it looks like I covered it. Okay. We got some enemies. Blast them. More coming. I think it's that light. The light was seeing me, and the light was attracting the guards, I think. Yep. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Okay, we haven't seen the steamer trunk, but we got the tag. Nothing else here? Reminds me, you know what this reminds me a lot of? Like a game like Alice Madness Returns and stuff like that. You know, those platformers from like the mid-2000s that had a really creepy edge to them. That's definitely what it has that vibe, you know? Tides turn in Grulovia. New War Minister rides wave of victories. Okay. Snowcrawl, no, I can't name a famous Carthini uh, Cartha Cartha Carthaginian. I don't care about Carthage or Carthaginians right now. I'm playing Psychonauts 2. It would be nice if you could wake up and see that. <laughs> I don't know if you're studying for your history course now or whatever, but I, I, I don't care. Just being honest. Okay. One of two uh, half brains. We're almost we're more than halfway done with the stage because we already got 31 out of 43 figments. A memory vault. The Psychonauts summoned. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> okay. So, Psy time. Paranormal person of the year, Maligula. Dam destruction drowns dozens in destabilized dictatorship. Czar flees coup d'etat. Can no one stop Mad Maligula? So Maligula, it sounds like she was brought in as like a as a, a a counselor, like they said, a war advisor. But then she ended up overthrowing the entire uh, civilization with her water powers, right? Uh, and here they are. Yep. And then they basically, yeah, they met with the War Council on, gee, how are we going to stop her? And then they brainstormed a way to do it. And there they go. And there's uh, Ford Cruller leading the way. Cool. That was cool. We're getting some backstory. War going on? Did you know there's a war going on? Don't lose the battle for your scalp. Show those mites your might. Wash them away with Hydroside. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Some more health back. There we go. No. 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 Yep. Oh. No. And 
did like no damage from it. It sucks. No. It's supposed to be effective, but it's not. So. It's funny because they have hair. <laughs> Dodge on command, you can't really. You can't be doing anything else. If you're doing anything else, you take a. You can't really dodge actively. Oh, I got some health back. Good. Cool. We got some more lice over here. Is Cat playing this? No, she's not. Now she doesn't. She doesn't. Um. She doesn't have an Xbox or nothing. You know, she just has a PS4. Uh. PS4 Pro. I mean, if this is on PC, I guess technically she could play it on her PC, but nah, she's not playing this. She was playing the Ghost of Tsushima DLC, but she hasn't had a lot of time to play it recently because of work. There we go. Get those lights. But you're in my way. What have you done? Uh, cleaned up the streets. A peaceful protest is Lucy. Peaceful protesters. Yeah, who's Lucy? No, actually, she likes this game a lot. She watched me play the very first stream of it, and she liked, really liked it. She's like, wow, I like the quirky humor, and it's, it's actually funny. So she's actually interested in watching my playthrough later on at some point, but she's not usually around when I'm playing it. She's at work. Help. <laughs> We're almost done. I wonder how many more figments are left. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. That's the steamer trunk. Sometimes she watches my playthroughs. Usually she'll just watch the stream, the live streams. She usually wouldn't watch, like, on demand. She, if she can catch the stream, she'll watch then. It says there's four more figments. I see one. I wonder where the others could be and if I missed them. Because this is the conclusion of the stage right here. So I wonder. I don't see anything out there, right? It really doesn't look like I missed anything. If you look out there, it looks like I got every item available. I don't see anything, like, hanging out that I didn't grab. So if I didn't get any figments, they must have been well hidden. All right. <clears throat> No, chat. She does not chat. She watches usually on her phone, and she doesn't log in or anything. Lucy, is that really you? Ford, it's me, Raz. Are you really the same person I used to know? Ford, I just saw you. Remember the bacon? I can't even recognize the person you've become. I feel a bad storm gathering. Drawn close. Very close. Uh, hey guys, that's a little bit too close, okay? <laughs> the heck? Whoa, what are we doing here? Oh my god. Whoa! Okay. Here's a figment, so there are more figments here. look all over for the remaining figments. There's one more left. One figment left somewhere. I got it. That's it. Nice. I think I've collected every figment in this mine. That's the first time I got all the figments. Ah! That's the first time I got all the figments. Then I got electrocuted. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I should have been doing this all along. Ah, shit! Fuck! 
For the record, Kat is not watching the stream today. She is uh, at work today. Wait a minute. You're not Lucy. It is such a relief to hear you say that. There's <laughs> something from deep inside her. Oh, God. Something dangerous we had so deadly unlocked. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, what the fuck, dude? Inside of his head is nasty. This is nasty. Hey, you lousy little mic, how'd you get in here? Ugh. Don't push me. I'll goggle a whole bottle of hydrocide if I need to. <gasps> oh. Lucretia went to Grulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. Hmm. Well, that's one down. That was easy, too. I'm gonna assume the other ones are harder. Darkness, yeah, basically the schedule's kind of... I'll talk in a I second, though. Off there for a sec. <laughs> Look at her hair. Huh. And her I face! She finished up. Well, if you see Ford tell him he did a great job, I feel like a completely different person. Aw... Uh. Got one piece of Ford's mind connected. Now for the other. Aha! Uh -huh. Hope I'm doing the right Lou thing. Lou off the top. Agent Zanato is right. We'll need Ford at full capacity if we're gonna have a chance against Maligula. One down. Okay. So Darkness says, I hope that they're not screwing your wife over with her schedule anymore. Basically, it's it's frustrating. When you were retail, people always promised certain things and they never come through. Seriously, it's always been my experience. And you know, she was on a set schedule for like two months. Now, all of a sudden, now... Oh, now it's different this week. Oh, but we made appointments and shit around it. Oh, too bad. So, it is what it is. But, yeah, you know, now we actually know her schedule for the whole next month, so we'll be able to plan out appropriately. <clears throat> ah. All right. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to save up for the 750. When you save up 750, you can get the next upgrade to how much you can hold of the currency. Oh, look. I think it just makes sense to get that much and then do the upgrade. Ugh. No, Darkness, wait, here's the thing. Like, every week my wife has had a set schedule of she works these days, she has these days off. So we plan our days off around that. Like, that's why Monday we were supposed to have off, and we had an appointment and everything set up for that. All of a sudden this week, oh, schedule's different. Like, why? Oh, I just decided to change it. But you didn't tell us ahead of time. You told us, like, literally two days, three days before. So now everything's screwed up. So now we have to totally reschedule appointments, redo things. It's very frustrating when you can't have a job that takes it seriously, you know? There's that brain. Another caviar tin in the air vent? Oh, For some reason, he sees you as a kid playing soccer. What the heck? That's weird. Alright. So, anyway. Um, one down, two to go, right? How? Oh, I have four. I need five to get some of the higher level things. Like, five for Shockwave. Um... Hmm. On impact, bursts into smaller side projectiles that do less damage. So that's a chain reaction side blast. That could be good. Hmm. I honestly don't know what I want. Yeah, I don't know. If I do this one, 
I can traverse new areas I haven't been to yet. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to try to save up five points for Dark Thoughts at level 30. Then I can go to areas I haven't been to yet. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Uh, so we did Ford's Follicles. That's done too. Checkmark means that we've completed it and got everything from it. That's good. So we still got to find a, a League membership card and a spare brain. Both of those are outside of headquarters, so I guess we actually have to leave headquarters for now to try those out. Figure those where, out where those are. They did say, remember, Rusty, there were guests. Rusty? Yeah, here. Desk, you have a visitor? I was just going to say they were doing this last stream. They were saying that I have visitors at the front desk. So I'm wondering if this is going to allow us to go to new areas now that we haven't been to in the game before. Hey, Adam. Thanks for helping me out with the security drones. What the Thanks hell? Look at this. Back my third dimension. I owe you big time. <laughs> Lizzie, He's stuck in animation. Turns give you a hard time. You come talk to the big dog, yeah? You're right, kid. I'm trying to get. I think 725 is enough to buy the upgrade. Scanning for fingerprint. I don't think I'm gonna get enough just looking around here, though. Well, maybe I will actually. I'm actually getting a good amount right now. See if I can get enough to get the upgrade before we move on. I mean for purchase. They're totally safe. Not available to interns, obviously. Yeah, I'm getting there. Less than a hundred now. No running. Oh my god, I only like yeah, like 30 more. So close. Oh my god, I need 15 more. I can buy the upgrade. Come on, man. There's got to be around here somewhere. Rusty no? Aquato, please come down to the reception area immediately. Your visitors are creating a disturbance. Maybe, uh... Ouch. Ow. Maybe in the noodle bowl? Darn, I'm so close, man. Yeah. Hi. Huh? <laughs> he's, I bet he's still looking at bacon. That's the guy you can't get away from bacon. Damn it! I need 15 more to buy the upgrade. Oh! Oh! What the hell? It appeared on the table. You could punch the tables and it comes out of the food plates. What the heck? Nice! I need one more. A single one more. Did I get it? No. I did. <laughs> Let's buy the upgrade. Improve your networking skills with our new mental connection pin. Brand new mental connection pins available. So what was it? Items? What was it? Yeah, here it is. Oh no, it's 750. <laughs> it's 750. Uh. Phil, how are mirrors real? Because mirrors refract light, or reflect light, excuse me, not refract, reflect. You can see back, like, why Why would a mirror not be real? Is the concept of a mirror really that confusing? At least tomorrow's payday. Okay, I got it now. <laughs> I was like, dude, we're so close. Don't tell me we're not going to get it now after I just ran around trying to grab all that shit. Okay. Oh, I don't know what next month's member's goal will be. It depends on if we can hit the member's goal in the next three days for this month, I guess. So. Here we go. Achievement. Psy Roller. Upgraded to the Astral Wallet. So now I can hold 5,000 currency. So basically for the rest of the game I'm set, there's no way I'm going to max out, I don't think. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm good to go in that regard. Okay. Come back anytime. All right, now let's go to the front, the front uh, entrance and see who these people Thank are. You. How do I go? How do I go back to the front entrance? I actually don't remember. It's not noodle bowl. Uh, how do I? Yeah, how do I leave? What the hell? I actually don't know. Is it this way? Scanning for oh, this must be it. Mm. 
Okay. Oh. Dad? Ha <laughs> ha! Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Mm -hmm. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of this course. Whole family. You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I've been acting like a fool. I know that now. But your mother, I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us, psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son, the whole yeah. family is here. Great. All the acrobats. Oh, no. <laughs> My little booty. Wow. Have you been practicing your acrobatics? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. <laughs> what the hell is going on? This game is weird. He's not as flexible as I prefer. Pull harder. <laughs> 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 Oh. Just what is going on out here? <laughs> Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aguatos. Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts. Great. Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. What did you say? <laughs> if it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Oh my god. Whenever he's ready, <laughs> he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> Meet your family in the questionable area. It's an optional mission. So now you have a quarry map. This is a whole new area now. <clears throat> Places you visited. The quarry, the mother lobe. There's the mother lobe. There's the quarry. Okay, this is totally new. Wow. There's a lot of shit here. Look. <clears throat> the psycho isolation chamber is where we need to go for one of the missions, I remember. I guess we're just gonna... Oh, wow. There's side challenge cards, supply chest, supply chest keys, and side challenge markers. All available in this area. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess we shall explore, right? We have a whole new giant area to take a look at. What is this? Well, it takes you higher up. Is that a bird? Hello. Oh, I wanted to mind control him. Well, we got a lot to explore here. 
I wonder if he come he does come back. Mind well, controlled him, but it doesn't really yeah, it doesn't hear. Alright. I wonder what you're supposed to do with him. Got a card over here. The music is all nice, nice happy music right now. Oh crap! Ah! Outdated platforming mechanics. Yep. When I was at camp. Oh, it's Lily. What's she doing out here? Hi, Lily. You here to take me into custody? <laughs> yes. You're under arrest. I'm sorry about that note. You don't have to apologize. I'm the one who's sorry. I'm just sensitive because I am guilty. Huh? Guilty of what? Guilty of what? I'm guilty of being a terrible daughter. I've been a jerk to my dad all year. And now I might never... I might never talk to him again. Aww. Anything I can do to help? Anything I can do to help? Be nice well, to her. Actually, Empathetic. There is something I need. Oh, great! Just a side me. quest. There is a very special fungus that only grows in damp parts of the questionable area. Say no more. I'm on it. Thanks, Raz. Why does she want that? <laughs> Why does she want a real really? fungus? No. Hey. I want that. I want the purple shit. I'll check in with you later. <laughs> all right? Don't worry about your dad. I don't want to talk to her. I want the purple okay. shit. Out of the I way. Hope so. Step aside. It's currency behind you. Okay. Can I grind on this? I think I can. What the was what? <laughs> what was the point of that? Grind to your doom. Grind to your death. Jeez. Alright, I see more stuff over here. <laughs> the cave is obviously some items and stuff in the cave. Uh, I guess we'll go across here first. tree but I can't move it. it appears to be a chest down here and a card. I'll take that card. Nice. I think I might have another key actually. Yeah I do. That was 75. Darn that wasn't a lot. Okay last time it was 200. That was only 75. What I'll do now, now that I have the maximum upgrade for the wallet, I'm just going to collect as much as I can and spend a ton. Because now I can actually buy the rechargeable items, the things that recharge your health and your mental ability and stuff. I haven't bought any of those yet, but now I could buy them. Because I don't have to worry about the upgrades to the wallet anymore. I don't have to save up. This is where I started, right? Yes. Okay. This is not pre-recorded. What are you talking about? Connor the Elder, if you keep talking about Carthage, I'm just going to ban you now. I, you're wasting everyone's time. You're very annoying. I'm trying to concentrate on a nice new release. Now nah, you talk about Carthage. No one cares about Carthage. Rome fell for a reason. How about that? <laughs> Here you go. Take that, Carthage. Suck on that. Okay. So let's see what's in this cave. So what is that item over there? We're about to find out. Yep. What is this? Well, this thing is sharp. Titanium knife. So is that for 
Was that for the... Ah, it was for the scavenger hunt. A Citanium Knight. I bet the a lot of the scavenger hunt items are going to be out here in the open world. I bet. Ow. That's right, he hates water. Water phobia. Incidentally, of course, the big boss of this is now a water boss, right? She commands water. So that is a dead end. All that was in here was the Titanium Knife. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Get out of here, then. There's nothing else in here. Got what we came for, I guess. I came out here looking for something. What was it? Oh, right. A brain for Nick. So I can get in to see Ford. And to keep Nick from getting his head caught in the stamper again. <laughs> Okay, that's right. Thank you for the recap there, Rasputin. Oh, shit. So we go back up. Oopsie. We go a different direction. Is there anything over here? There's Otto's lab down there. Aha! Can't leave this card lying around. Looks like we get there from a different direction? Hmm. How would we get over there? See how far away it is? And there's definitely a chest there, although I don't think I have another key to open it. I'm not sure how we would exactly reach over there. Hmm. Oh, I see a bridge over there, so maybe we go over there and we try to lower the bridge and it helps us? Probably. Alright, so we're gonna go the other direction. We're gonna go this way. Here we go. See you later, Kagome. He's gonna play some Battlefield. Another fast travel spot? Yes. These are all fast travel spots now. Excellent. La 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 la. The music is so good. Like I said, the music sounds like you're playing... Like you're in an interactive Pixar movie or something with the music being this good. It's like orchestral music. Oh, I found a key. Just sitting here. Nice. Well, if I run into a chest, I'll be able to open it now. So. Hey there. Oh, wait. I changed my mind. This kid's the mole. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who says agents don't have any sense of humor? We uh... do. Okay. So. Looks like I'll be going this way and starting to platform across. Right here. That bounces you back up. She's a nice goat. Hello. Can I do anything with the goats? <laughs> the goat issue is a can? A can of, like, an open can. That's so weird. I don't think you do anything with the goats. They're just scenery. Okay. Do I ever think of returning to Binding of Isaac? I mean, does anyone really want to see me return to it? Ever since I played it originally, no one really ever asked for that. I, I wouldn't be against it. But if there's no demand... Oh, you can paddle the boat? Oh. Well, obviously, that's going to get us to new areas. But let's, let's check out this tree area first. What the hell is that? Oh. Welcome to my mind, yeah. Whoa, they're chilling in a treehouse up here. What's going on? Hey, Kisu. Sputin Aquato, say, you seem like the reckless and resourceful type. I have a challenge that I think is perfect for a young man of your disposition. Interested? Another side quest. All right. Whatever it is, I'm into it. The... Wow, even more reckless than I thought. Impressive. Here's the issue. My mentor, Otto Mentalis, deployed several psycho seismometers like this one to detect and collect negative psychic residue. Problem is, we kind of forgot about them for a long time. So now they're all overloaded and unstable. 
I thought instead of me going around venting all these nasty things and stealing all the glory, <laughs> you want me to do it for extra credit. You're welcome. And to free me up for more high-minded engineering work. Okay. Come on, rep. Wait. You said yes? <laughs> all right, good man. <laughs> well, if you survive, be sure to report back, okay? Eh, coach was trying to throw it out, but I knew it was fixable. With this transmitter, KLOB will finally be on the air. Fuck. No. K Lobe. K Lobe. We enrobe the mother lobe with music. Cool. So where are your records? Well, I only have one right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gotta start somewhere. If I find any, I'll bring you more. I'm counting on it, partner. Let's say supportive free agent, okay? Anyway, our fans come for the music, but they stay for the personalities. Like who? Like me. Huh. And you? Hey guys! Ugh, busted! Now we gotta burn this site and find a new base of operations! What? Pirate radio, Gisu! Gotta be ready to bug out in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. <laughs> I'm telling Hollis! No. Relax, boys. <laughs> I'm not a narc. Exactly what a narc would say. Why do a radio station? So why a radio station, Morris? Shouldn't you be working with Mia? Mia wants me to learn how to reach out into the world. And this is how I'm going to do it. With radio. Hmm. Have you told her about this yet? No. I'm waiting until we get back our first ratings report so I can show her how effective it is. Hex Lunari says, I would recommend trying out Binding of Isaac. It's getting a lot of updates. You missed a lot of content in it. Makes it better. I think people would love to see it if mentioned. How old is Binding of Isaac? Even when I played it, I felt like it was a few years old, right? Hmm. Where'd you get the radio? Gisu fixed up Coach's old transmitter and made it more powerful. Just be careful you don't fall asleep on that thing and broadcast your dreams out to the world. Who would ever be dumb enough to do that? Meh. <laughs> Do you know where the psycho isolation chamber is? Ooh, are you trying to steal Lizzie's mentor, Compton Bull? No. So you're happy with Nick from the mailroom? <laughs> of course. Everybody loves Nick. Okay, I need to go report my findings to the radio police. Ha <laughs> ha. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening All right. to KLO. Anything behind? The I, yeah, look, there the is court. something there. See it? I wonder how I get to that. There's definitely an item back there. Aha! Uh -huh. <clears throat> nice. Can I climb this tree? Yes. Oh, crap. Yep. What the hell? Well, I didn't mean to do that. There's a grinding rail. I thought oh, I could use it. I fell on my ass. Try this again. See if there's something else to do up here. Yeah, I wonder where that grinding rail goes. Oh, to the rooftop. I definitely want to go up there. Is there another way up there, though? I can open this, right? I have a key. Okay. That was another 75. Can I climb this? Yes! Nice. Anything else up here? No, just that card. Okay. All right, so I think now I have to go down to the boat and use the boat to get around. We sure got a lot of side missions unlocked now, right? We got a lot of variety of stuff to do. Am I a fan of history talk? I'm not really into history that much at all, actually. No, not really. Darkness is the game has good voice acting. I agree with you. I think the voice acting is quite good in this game. Anyone want to see my oarsman's badge? No? 
So, hmm. I want to get up here to get that item, but. I'd have to find a place. Maybe I could jump on my ball and bounce up there. I'm not sure. I'm getting stuck. The hitbox for this uh, canoe is not what it looks like. Maybe right here. Okay, let me see. Can you pull out the ball here? No. You can't do any abilities while on the boat. So that's not how you do it. There's got to be another way to get up there, and I'm not sure what it is. Okay. All right. Anyway. Maybe you can only go to docks. You can probably only stop in the dock. Yep. Has the button that you can stop. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get over there yet. Another goat. Yeah, I don't think you can platform across. I don't think so. Maybe in a high up spot you could land on top of it from like way high up, the top of this dam or something. Hmm. There's a couple platforms down there, and those will lead, looks like, to a card. So maybe I'll do that first. Here we go. There we go. This really seriously. This really feels to me like like an old school platformer. Like all the stuff we're doing. It's stuff you would do in an old school platformer. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't feel like they even wanted to modernize it. And again, I'm okay with that. I like old school games, but I don't know how this is gonna appeal to a, a modern audience. Which is kind of what I was saying this morning is on social media people who are actually playing this game who are like older gamers like me are actually really enjoying it. But a lot of people are just completely writing the game off and not talking about it at all. And I'm not surprised at all, you know, like it really does feel like a a different game than what people are used to. I got a key. Okay. Yes, there is a main quest. That's what Snow Crow, what we're trying to do as we go around this area, there's two main quest lines we can do out here. We're looking for a brain, and we gotta talk to someone who's in psycho isolation out here. You've gotta be kidding me. I missed. You gotta talk to someone who's in psycho isolation, and either one of those will unlock two more parts of the story, but we have to actually, like, get, you know, find those areas. How the hell? Uh. I pulled it down, it didn't do anything. Maybe I need to go up? Oh wait. There we go. I knew I was good at science. What did that do? I have no idea what that just did. Here we go. Hello, side channel. So that gives me a whole upgrade. But what did I do with those things? I don't even know what that did. Did it turn something on outside? I don't know. An anonymous tipper tipped me a dollar for these. The music is kind of Dragon Quest esque. Yes, I would say because they got a full orchestral soundtrack for the game. It feels like an epic adventure. You know what I mean? Although it's funny because you heard the music when we were inside of the casino boss area. It was completely different. Yeah, so I'm wondering what this did. Did this electricity actually, like, activate something for us? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we go back now? Something, something's changed? I'm not sure. It doesn't look like anything changed. I honestly have no idea what that activated. <laughs> well, oh well, I guess we're going the other way. I don't know. Okay. Darkness says, that's exactly what I was actually about to ask you. I feel that our younger gaming generation want instant gratification and therefore a game like this wouldn't be good for them. Well, it's like I've, I was been saying, how many older style platformers like this do you see these days? Not many. It's actually few and far between, right? And even a game like Ratchet and Clank, people were like, oh, you know, <laughs> it's not that good. It's like, what do you mean? Like, if this were, a, you know, 
10, 15 years ago, people would be like, Ratchet and Clank's the best game ever made. But today, people are like, so... You know what I mean? It's getting so different today. Nice. Come with me, Psy Challenge Marker. So now we're in a whole new area. Yeah, we're in a totally new area right now. I think the only thing we didn't do is we didn't get that thing down there on that island, which I don't know how to get to. But I'm fairly certain we did everything else in that area. We grabbed every item we came across. So <clears throat> I think we can glide down here. Yes, look at this. Nice. Make sure I didn't miss any items around here. <laughs> la 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 la. Now no one said anything for two minutes. Great. Another card. Well, here's the thing, Snow Carl. I don't feel the new Ratchet Clank had a terrible story. I think it had a good story that fizzled out. That's different. The story started off great. And it got kind of boring by the end. There's nothing really going on. Too interesting. SJW shit, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know what SJW things were in the game besides a female protagonist, which I don't know how that's an SJW thing. That's stupid. Okay, so this psycho isolation will be one major part of the story. That's where we need to go to get one part of uh, his psyche fix. So I guess we'll do this first. Then when we're done, we'll continue on that way. And it's probably where the other thing is, I'm assuming. Right? All right. Hi. Hi. Hey, over here. What's your name? Hey. Welcome. Can you hear me? <laughs> I said, what's your name? Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Cody? No. Oh, my God. Max? I'm not going to do nothing. Hector? Finn? Angus? Bart? <laughs> She's still going. Seth? Sergio? Pete? Mike? Rufus? Oh my god, she Waldo. won't... Waldo. <laughs> Milo? <laughs> Eagle? Wow. Rock? Rock! <laughs> Tranquility? Justice. Does she seriously never stop? How many things does she say? Cletus. Cletus. Saul. <laughs> Tootie. Ha <laughs> ha, Tootie. Fester. Ernest P. Worrell. Robes Pierre. D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait, that's my name. Wow. Oh, well. I'll just call you Hootie, like an owl, because you're so quiet and mysterious. What the hell? You're all right, Hootie. She's still talking. Something about you I like, <laughs> Mind if I call you Hootie? Yo, she won't shut up. Oh, jeez. Oh, I've gone too far. I'm just going to be quiet now. I'm sorry. How much dialogue did they give her? Oh, my God. Give me. Oh, Hootie. my God. <laughs> Yo, she won't shut up. Is she done, finally? Lo Youch! Like, wow. See, that's what I mean about this game. The quirkiness. What other game would give an NPC, like, a hundred lines? Right? But they do it on purpose to try to be quirky and funny. And they were. I mean, that was interesting. Certainly, I've never seen that in a game before. An NPC just keeps talking if you don't interact with them. Alright, now we got fast travel unlocked. I guess I should, should I actually talk to her. What do you think? Nah, fuck her. Let's go inside without talking to her. 